everybody. I'm Luis Gutierrez, and I'm here with Jake Laurel and Daniel Gomez. And welcome to Real Talk. We just go and just ramble on about stuff. And we're going to be talking about esports because the three of us play a good amount of video games. And if you guys want to wear this weekend, there was a shooting that happened at a Madden tournament. And we just want to kind of discuss the, the future of how this is going to impact it and how the security usually is at esport events because to the public eye, this is still fairly new. A lot of people don't really know what esports is because it's still breaking into mainstream media. Uh, if you guys want to chime in. Uh, yeah, you said you went to EVO last year, didn't you? I did go Daniel? to EVO 2018 over the summer. It's the biggest fighting game tournament of the year. It was a huge event, something like six stages. Uh, the conference hall it was held in held something like a thousand people with stands, um, places you could play. It was just a ton of space and there was no way the security could handle it all. But they did try their best to, um, to check every bag, to go through everyone. But when uh, events are that size, you can definitely tell uh, how lax the security has to be just to keep things moving. I mean, I used to go to a few, I, I, I competed semi-professionally in Halo and we didn't get very far at all. But uh, I remember how lax the security, security was in general because there's thousands and thousands and thousands of these kids and slash teenagers slash young adults just walk in and they're, they're, there's chaos in these events. Like, have you ever been to a, like a sign or anything like that or like professional player? And like, would these just, like a, like a crowd of just hungry vet zombies just wanting to get a signature or even talk to him, right? Everyone just wants to meet their idol. Yeah, and it's it's always been that way. And then again, I haven't been to an event, granted, in since like, when did Halo 3 come out? 2007? Around there. 2007. So that gives you a description how long it's been for me. And since then, it's only gotten bigger. The and scenes. bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's just that much easier to slip by something with that might be potentially dangerous when you've got a sea of people in front of you. Right. Well, one thing I fear, though, is that like this this is going to hurt like the public image for esports just because they're already having a hard time getting into into the mainstream media. And at the end of the day, they're considered a sport. And there's, uh, there's a lot of like UCs and uh, private colleges and colleges pretty much all around the U.S. that are picking up esports and essentially saying, hey, we'll, we'll pay you to go to this school, but play Fortnite for us or play uh, Rainbow Six Siege, et cetera, et cetera. But now I feel like since people are like, okay, this has happened, how are we going to avoid something like this again? Because um, I'm pretty sure this hasn't happened at like a professional sporting event like baseball, football, soccer, or at least anything like that has happened recently. So I feel like this is going to be a lot harder for people to accept esports even more because they're already facing a lot of uh, barriers getting into the media. I just don't want another narrative that video games cause violence. I'm tired of people like Jack Thompson speaking directly to you. Hope you're having a miserable life. Um, I'm tired of people like that, and I really don't want that narrative to happen again because it's 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 just it's it's being it's it's beyond a dead horse. The things like three months old and flies are all over it. Okay, it's it, it doesn't exist. Video games do not cause violence. If anything, we need probably more security. You know that would be nice, and then possibly. I mean, I hate to get all political, but eva evaluation of our current gun control. I mean, that would be nice, too, because it seems like, you know, it's not stopping. And esports is only getting more popular, and the less people we need that might be crazed up and shooting people, it'd be great. And the scariest thing is that this was at a Madden tournament, so it's football. This isn't like a shooter or anything really violent. The game that's being played is a regular sport. Something that everyone watches, like, every Sunday. This is not some guy mad because he got sticky, sticky bombed in Call of Duty and was mad that he got teabagged in a search and destroy match, okay? That's not it, okay? So, can we move on from that? Great. Uh, one thing, too, is, like, we, we touched on this a little bit prior, but, um, like, security is pretty almost... Like, they don't really do much there just because, like, you know, there hasn't been really a situation for this. And I believe it's in Santa Ana. I could be wrong where it's at, but there's an eSports arena. And um, the the security there is, like, next to none. It's pretty minimal. And I feel like now this is going to, like, scare them into, like, hiring maybe even armed security or just hiring bodies just to have in case something, God forbid, like this is to happen again. But, um, yeah, I mean, this sucks for the eSports industry as a whole. It, like, I think we could all agree on that. It really does suck because, like, can you imagine going to any of these events? Because I'm sure we've all been to at least one, right? Mm. So can you imagine being, like, 12 years old, going to an esports event, and, like, the last thing you're thinking about is a master. The last thing you're thinking about is someone yeah. getting shot over a video game. Well, even in general, it's like um, you go to any event or any, like, kind of public gathering, the last thing you think of, am I going to get shot today? Or is this going to be the last mm. thing I'm going to do before I, before I die? 
Like, no one likes to think about stuff like that. And, the like, the beauty of, like, eSports or any, like, gathering in general is, like, you go there to relax, to get away from your normal everyday life, just to have fun for a little while. And it's it's a tragic that this had to happen. Do uh, you guys have anything else you'd want to touch on? No. I have nothing really to add. Yeah. All right, so I think this is a probably good spot to end it. Uh, I'm Luis Gutierrez. Uh, I'm Jake Lorello. And I'm Daniel Gomez. And this has been Real Talk. Thanks for watching.